So the Purifone facing the wire. And this is the starting charging harness for the Explorer. And it's actually a 98 Explorer starting charging harness. I need it. And I gotta figure out how to mate it to the Ranger plug for their starting charging harness. 2000 Ranger. Uh, the plugs are obviously different shapes. I'll show this all in a minute. But these are more or less the wiring colors I've been able to come up with. Uh, this is actually light blue. I wrote it down. It's poor lighting. Uh, the black and gray white wires are the same in both harnesses. They're for the AC compressor clutch. This should be my starter wire, but the Ranger harness has two thick yellow whites. So I'm not sure if they both need to be mated to the yellow, white, blue or not. And then I have these three other colors in the Explorer harness. Only the black white matches something in the Ranger harness. Yeah. So this all just needs figured out. yellow, black, white, top has these two, and that might be a light green straight. looking at, and these two guys are the uh, AC compressor, I know that, so we got those, that's how I Laid them and here is the explorer harness and we get there's the AC compressor wires and now I got these other wires here. Well, I did a really botched job of colors there. But that's what I'm dealing with for that. Uh, it's coming along in the front here. The other thing that I need to do, I'm looking to fit this guy in. And he either needs to go behind the grill here roughly like so, which is probably going to require brackets. I was going to try to cut these down and mount right to this. But I think it's going to make it sit too low where half of it's going to be hidden. And the other thought was to try to put it behind the grill here, roughly in line with all this. Which of course is custom brackets, and I'm not sure if that's going to end up too low there. So, another problem to figure out here. And, the problem that's been resolved is this guy. I managed to get a new backing plate from a junkyard, newly used, in good shape, to replace the rusted one. So, there's some progress being made on the problems. Stay tuned. Alright, so we managed to make some progress and we squashed some bugs here. So, here's what we came up with. The starting charging harness for the Explorer... The black and the gray white were the AC compressor, we knew that. The yellow light blue was the starter solenoid. We figured that. 
This white, pink, black, white, and green white all went to an oil pan sensor. So since our Ranger doesn't have an oil level sensor, and I'm guessing that's what that is, we can leave that out. Now, the Ranger side of things. I dug out the Ranger starting charging harness and did some testing. So, here's what we ended up with. The black and the, whatever it was, brown, tan, white, those were AC compressor, as we figured. The two yellow, and they were light blue, I did check. The two yellow light blues are the starter solenoid. And the black, white, and red, yellow went to the AC high limit switch, which the Explorer didn't have. So the AC won't cycle without linking those together because it's power and ground. So here's what we did. We made up the harness here. This is the Explorer plug. This is the Ranger plug. So now my Ranger plug, the wire colors coming out of it don't match the Ranger harness because I made this up out of extra parts. So I didn't have to cut up the harness. The same with this, I didn't cut up the harness to make this. This is all extra parts right here. So, this is our start charge. We got the two from the Ranger harness linked into the one thick one for the Explorer harness, so we're good there. We got the AC you know, compressor switch right here, the you know, clutch, these two. And this would be for the high limit switch, and we just put a loop on there to link them. And should I ever have to put a high limit switch in, I can just unplug this and fit the new one in. So this is a waterproof plug. So we're all waterproof here. We're all sealed up. I uh, used the solder shrink connectors for these, all three of these. And then this one, because I had two wires, I doubled it up with a piece of heat shrink. The, um, glue lined heat shrink. So that should keep moisture sealed up pretty good. I'll loom this up, get this on the truck, and our harnesses will be connected, and we can move on to the next project.